Right now I'm getting ready to season some roast beef. Here I have my roast beef, an onion, another onion, some good McCormick onion gravy, and a packet of McCormick's beef stew, black pepper, onion powder, and meat tenderizer. I'm getting ready to wash my beef now. I have now washed my meat and I have it now draining on a paper towel and I'm getting ready to transfer my meat to this container to season it and I'm gonna put all the seasoning and cut up my onions and then I'm gonna let the roast beef sit overnight. Now I have, I'm adding on my onion powder and my black pepper. I have my A1 meat tenderizer. Make sure you get all into the cracks and crevices of the meat and I'm gonna do both sides. Now I'm putting on McCormick beef stew seasoning and I'm gonna half and half it and put it on both sides of the meat. And sometimes I take a fork or you could take some type of um, other kitchen utensil and beat your meat and really get down in the holes and cracks and crevices of your meat. Make sure you season every section and every angle of your meat. Now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to season the other side with the same thing, my onion powder, my black pepper, and my meat tenderizer. I've already seasoned it with the onion powder and the meat tenderizer. Now I have my black pepper. Now I'm adding more beef stew seasoning mix on the other side of my meat. and make sure you distribute it as evenly as possible. I'm gonna spread this out some more on the other side as well. I'm getting ready to cut up both of these onions and I'm gonna place them on the top and the bottom of my roast beef. I have already generously put onion pieces uh, at the bottom of my pan. Now I'm gonna put them on the top. Now I have my onion pieces at the top. I'm going to take my lid and cover it up. And it will probably be, be in the refrigerator for a day or two because my mother says she doesn't want to cook this until Sunday. So they'll probably cook this Saturday night. I'm trying to do my part before I leave and go back home. But anyway, this is how you season your roast beef. And you take this meat, put it in a pan. And at the bottom, you put some... Uh, red apple cider vinegar and you'll cook it real slow until it's very tender and juicy until the meat starts falling apart and it'll be a very very delicious meal and my motto is if you don't season it right it ain't gonna be right